All right, good evening, everybody. Now, um, I'm here today to show you how to make these simple cutout buildings look great. Now, here's the printout. There we are, flat, nice and simple. You can see it, the two walls, the roof. This will be the porch area. That will be the um, chimney pop. I like that chimney pop, don't you? Um, so that that will be that. But now, if you just cut it out, stick them to a bit of card, like this, just like that. Well, that's fine. It will take you minutes, seconds to stick this on. Cut it out, fold it round, like so. That sort of thing. You can see that when it's all cut out. Get the other one, stick it to it, put the, loo, uh, the lid on. Fine, that's great. As I said, a man with five songs poof, wouldn't notice, would he? Eh? But your mates admiring your layout will. They want to see a little bit of relief here. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay? Good. Excellent. Okay, I'm ready to go now, or almost ready to go. It is after seven o'clock after all, so so it'll swap. I, I would have a little slurp if I were just at this time. I think it expands the mind a little bit. Don't overdo it, you make a right pig zero the whole thing if you do that. But let's go. So I've chopped out one side of the house, yeah? Well the front and the side. Simple. Chopped out. What I'm gonna do now is chop out my windows. So with my dagger. I'm going to go around. I won't do them all to bore you. I'll just do a couple, yeah? One, like that. Then I move it around nicely. Get up nice and close. Make sure you've got a nice sharp dagger. You haven't got a sharp dagger. You force it all, you force it all, you cut yourself. That's what my mum used to say to me. There we are, so I'm mindful of that. Going around, around, nearly there. Just have a little. Mmm, that's nice. Right, there we go. That'll do for a while. There we go. And, and the two little windows pop out. And there you have the little hurls, look, there you see. And the two little windows. What I'm going to do with these is on a nice sort of um, thin piece of paper, which I can't quite find at the moment. A bit of paper, just a Thin bit of, not exactly flimsy paper, but something that's got a bit of a what's it, heft to it, but not too much. And then I'm just going to get a little dab of me glue, cheap old PVA nut, that'll do the job just nicely. Do it lovingly. Obviously this is going to take, all this stuff's going to take longer than, you know, just shoving it on a bit of a uh, flat card. But I can assure you, at the end of the day, it is so worth it. I mean, what are you going to do? Have a brilliant, brilliant building after a day, or a mediocre one after half a day, or, let's face it, a pretty ordinary one after a few minutes, eh? I think what you say these days is, it's a no-brainer. Don't particularly like that myself, but, you know, I never even worked it out. What does it mean? You've got no brains, or you need no brains to work it? I don't know. Anyway, so there you go, and you cut all the windows out, I won't do them all, and stick them all on a little bit of paper like that. So then you've got this sort of shell with its holes in. Okay, then I'll show you what you're going to do now. Okay, so here it is, with all its nice holes there ready to go. That's the first stage done. Let's do things in stages nice and slow, no point in rushing anything. Now, I'm going to stick it onto a card, a piece of card. Now, you're welcome to use, you know, old cornflake, well, not, you know, cereal packets of any sort. Um, it just, but I like something a bit more substantial. If you've got something a bit thicker, a bit thicker card, it's going to give you greater relief, greater depth on the windows. But that's up to you. Um, so here's my piece that I'm going to use. I'm going to just give it a bit of sellotape. Just going to fix my, um, what do you call it here? side of the building down like that so it doesn't move all over the place when I'm drawing in where the windows are. So it's like this, you see? That's one. Oh, I love doing this. Hey, you see that? See what I'm doing? I'm just drawing around the holes. Window, like that. Door, down, chink, all the way along. blah de blah -dee blah There we go. Chink, chink. Like that. I always miss that one out. I always miss that one out. 
Bottom left, front side. I don't know why. I always do though. There we go. Now, all there. You can see that, can't you? Okay. Now we're going to cut them out. So you're going to have all the nice holes there. Let me show you. Take the old straight line drawing device. Very nice. I like to do all the horizontals first, except I'm doing all the verticals first. There we go. I'll just show you one, and then off camera, just so you don't have to watch me do them all, I'll chop the rest out. Let's just do a couple. Nice. Be accurate, be firm, hold the ruler down strongly, hey? otherwise it'll just, otherwise it'll slip and you'll cut yourself. Hmm, that's good. All right, let's get this on. That one down, that one down. Knock them out, it's like demolition look. Oh. And that's gonna be your holes, you see. I'll give you a clue, when you stick your, what's it called, back on, you're gonna stick it over the holes and then you'll have your relief. Do you see that? Oh! <laughs> so I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna cut the rest out and then we're gonna stick this on and then we're gonna move on. It'll be nearly done then, actually, okay? Next step, now I've got the old shell there, look at that. All the nut holes nicely cut out. Just let's place him over the top. See, fits lovely, doesn't it? So what I'm gonna do is get me um, glue, little pot here, take the old spreading tool, which is just an end of one of my paintbrushes. There we are, just make sure you get it over the whole shooting match. You know, like that. Nice. There we are. Be nicely. There we are. It doesn't have to be too thick, you know, but you do, you want to get it over all the little areas. Like that. <clears throat> oh, you can't whack it, can you? I love building these houses. You know. I'm going to show you something a little bit later um, about the usage of the flaps thereof. Um, now, it's a contentious. It's a contentious issue, very diversive in the world of house building, I think. That's not real house building, that's model house building. Because you, you don't use flaps in real house building, just in models. At least that's what I think. Might be proved wrong. There you go, that's nice. Just spread him down, a little bit of the old muck spreading. A bit of the old house your father there. There we go. Now don't worry, don't rush it. It's not going to dry overnight. It'll take very, very nicely. Here we go. Let's put our wall down and place very gently and with finesse. Okay. There. Oh. Oh, it's so satisfying. Oh, look at that. It's perfectly over the holes there. Look at that. Patting down nicely. Lovingly, gently. Like this, then what I'm going to do to flatten him out, let him dry, shove a couple of heavy books on it, give it a couple of hours, take it off, it'll be right as ninepence. Okay, excellent. Move on to the next bit. There we are, a couple of hours have passed, very nice, I'm sitting there all ready to cut. Now I'm going to cut it out. This is one of my favourite bits. I don't know why, we all have our favourite little bits, don't we? So get me dagger once again. I'm going to use this little dagger. There we are. Cut it down there nicely. Go right up to the edge. One. Don't try and force it all the way through. Just one little cut. And then take it home nicely. Now here, this is when I was talking about the flaps earlier. When I'm working on something this thick, I don't use the flaps. I find that they're useless, they're cumbersome basically. I mean, look at the thickness of that. What use is that flap turned round gonna be? It's gonna be too fat, isn't it? Now, if you're working on just a very, very thin piece of card like this and you're gonna keep it flat, then use the flaps. Use the flaps. Use your noggin. Come on, use your, what's it called? Okay? 
think about it when you make these things. Very important. Moving on, so I'll chop it. So I'm going to carve right through the. It's quite cathartic as well. It's quite good. Uh, get the gong flap. There we are. Ha <laughs> ha! He goes. Going round the gable end here. Oh, that's nice. I've got another flap to discard in a minute. Also, when it's when it is seriously when it's on a nice thick thing, it's gonna it's it's gonna, just gonna glue together easy. It's gonna stand on its own right because it's a solid structure. You're now building a solid structure rather than that flimsy bit of sort of toilet tissue that you were mucking around with before. You know, so we're doing this properly nice, properly nice. There we go. And chopums. And look at that bad boy beauty. Oh, just on its own. Hey, look, solid structure. Okay, okay, try not to get in such a mess as I do. Clean up after yourselves. I'm not very good at that. But here's all the windows and stuff that I glued down earlier. You see, that's a chimney pot for later. So, I'm going to start off with this one here. So, the first thing we do, one at a time, do these one at a time, it's very important. Don't rush it. Chop it out like this with a little board around it. See? Little border. That's enough. You get loads of little bits of card all over the place. Yeah, it's terribly messy, but it's great fun. Turn it over. This is just a bit of card that I painted on earlier. Bit of old um, wastage, really. But not wasting it, I'm using it for greater good. A little bit of glue around the edge. Oh, so nice. This is when it really starts to, you feel the, the point about this is if you just glue it down and make it flat, uh, you know, as I say, it is great, it's okay, but it's not brilliant. But here, if you take, you get a real sense of building something, achieving something. And so it's, it's so much more than just, uh, Look at that. So it's glued on the back, you see that? Turn it round. Hey, 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 Stick him down, firm him up. Look at that. Now that's your first step to making it really look the bee's knees. So you take a celebratory sip of the old vino. Mm -hmm. Lovely job. Move on to the next one. Let's take this bad boy, here we go. It's very important here that you make the special cutting noises. Turn it over, it goes there. Make sure you try and get the, exactly the right corresponding windows on exactly the right corresponding holes because all these holes are the same but it's nice to get the exact right one on. So he goes here, like that. Oh, don't if you don't compromise. If you haven't quite got enough glue, don't try and sort of force it round. Get a little bit more. There's no cutting corners here. I want you. I want. I want you to promise me that you're not going to cut any corners when you do this. Good. Right. Nearly caught you there. There we are. And that's two. And we just carry on like that down the house until they're all in. Okay? You ready? Okay, now see that? Now we look at this. Beautiful, isn't it? Now if we compare it to the old flat boy, which I haven't cut out yet, move it around, no relief, no shadow, oh, you've got a structure. You've got a structure. Now we're gonna bring it out even more now. Now you see these areas here? I'm gonna, I've, had a, I've got a, printed out another and I've stuck it on a th much thinner piece of card. I don't want it jutting out too much. That would be a little bit too heavy. And now I'm going to cut, let's say we'll start with this bit here. Okay, and I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to snip up the sides there. You can use a pair of scissors for this bit. I'm going to use scissors there because they were the nearest tool to me actually. Chop along the bottom of the old, I don't know what you'd call that, what'd you call that? An outdoor skirting ball. And so we have this 
section here chopped out. What I do, because I'm a perfectionist, is I get a little bit of white paint and I just run it across the top there. See that? Sad man, eh? I don't think so. I think there's attention to detail. Eh? Can't buy it in the shops. Now, that's right. There's detail and there's attention to detail. Think about that. Okay, now I've lost me, I've lost me bit. Where's it gone? Right, I'm just going to have to try and find the... Um, oh, there it is. I found it. Okay, so that's there. I've, I've now smudged it. That doesn't matter. That adds a bit of authenticity. Don't worry if you smudge a little bit. It's, you know, it happens. It happens in the real world. You don't want things to be too clean, do you? A eh? little bit of glue there. Put a finger in the mouth. Like that. Turn him around. And stick him on. Like that. And then you've got that bit of extra relief. You can see it down there. It's subtle. Subtle. But it's there. And it all adds to the beef of the building. The structure. Believe me, when you get it up, it'll just look... It'll look like there's rooms in there and there's floors in there. If it's just flat, it will probably just look like a little, little box. So I'm going to carry on cutting around here. Um, do a, just do a few more here for you to show you. Then I'm going to... Then I'm going to... Um, then I'm going to show you how to proceed. Okay? Okay, right, so there we go. Now you can see it all coming together. There's relief there. And now I've just done relief on bits to show you the difference between that and that, okay? But even that's looking great, isn't it? So much more substantial than just your flat wall, hey? Eh? And it's also, because it's substantial, it's much flatter. It's not going to warp and bend and make it harder to put together. So it gives it structure that way. Now, I'm going to score down this line here, between the front of the house and the side of the house. Okay, so I'll just get me dagger. Mm -hmm. Ah, nice cheeky red there. Okay, so with my straight line, line drawing device once more, be careful not to chop right the way through the structure. So it's just a nice, gentle, not too gentle. That should do it. It's a matter of touch. Okay. And then we just gently bend him round like that. Look at that. Oh, now I'm going to just glue him to my base. Normally I would have made, probably made a garden area around it already, but just for simple sake, that's what we're going to do. Just glue him down. Now normally I'd use a stronger glue. But today I'm just going to try this out to see if it happens for me. I'm sure it will. Again, ah, oh, this is good. Um, this is good. What I'm going to do now? You're going to like this straight away. I'm really, I'm being quite liberal with the glue. Do you notice that? Really hacking it on. Two reasons. Going over the edge a little bit. Hey, eh? two reasons. Stick down that down there. Go over the edge. There's two reasons. I'm going to stick that down there, like that, at right angles. That's exactly right angles. Normally I'd get my old set square and make sure it is, but my eye is so good that I know that that's exactly right angles. Now, what you've got here, I imagine you've got it all set up in your garden. It's at this stage you get a little bit of the old greenery. You can, while the, wet, the glue's still a little bit wet, shove that little bit down there. Look! Oh, 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 it's so exciting, you see. And you're building a house. It's so exciting. You're not just throwing it together. You're building a, building a structure. So another little bit there, you know. There we go. If it's a bit more of an industrial building you've got, that's when I like to shove the old industrial stuff down. Just get it along there like that. And then move it into the glue like that. Oh, you know. You, 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 you've all done this sort of stuff before, but forgive me for indulging myself, eh? Can't help it, it's just so much fun. Oh, and now I'm getting excited, because look at that, eh? Look at it. Beautiful, isn't it, eh? eh? 
spin it round so that the light shines on there and the light shines on the front bit. And that is basically half your house. Okay, we're going to move on. Okay, right, now what I'm going to do now is put the other wall on the other side. This one is going to be a flat wall. So I've done one of the walls with uh, relief and, and, and all the rest of it, and the other one just flat. And we'll see the difference. Um, I suppose if you've got one of these buildings right at the edge of your layout, right, right in the corner, there would be no need to do all this sort of work on this side. So quite often I do that on my layouts. If I think, well, no one's ever going to see that bit. There's no point in, uh, you know, that's labour intensive then, isn't it? So we're not going to do that on this one. So I'm going to get my old pointy stick out, which has gone west. So I'll just use a pencil this time. I'm, a, I'm afraid I'm a little bit Heath Robinson when it comes to sticking things together, you know. But that's how I like it. I'm sure, I mean, by the way, I do a lot of painting and um, drawing and that. That's, that's what I do. Um, whoever invented that rubber on the end of that, what's it called, pencil, needs their head boiling. You can see how strongly I feel about that, can't you? All it does is smudge stuff. A load of rubbish. You know, and it was, it's just product. Here we go. I'm sticking it down there, just like that. Oh. He's in. He's in. There we are. I did use the flap on this one, you see, because it was so nice and thin. And just to hold it together, use the old peg trick. Ho, 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 ho. Hey, and we have lift off. And there you go, that's your little box. Oh! Hey, this one's come away. I'll just hold him in for a bit. See? Marvellous. Oh! And now we just let that rest, let it take. And then we'll just shove a roof on it and that'll be it for now. And I'll show you the difference between the two roofs, okay? Excellente. Right, okay, so there he is. I've left him, I've let, let him sit there for a while, so it should be firmed up now, eh? Nice little structure. Here's the roof. Now I've done this roof on a real flimsy bit of card, yeah? So I'm doing the flimsy one. Mainly I didn't have time to do all this uh, stuff, but I'm going to show you. I'm going to give you a link that shows you how to do all this. But one of the reasons I wanted to do this a bit flimsy was just so you can compare it with a much nicer one that I've done uh, earlier. You ready? Now, I need to uh, score down the top tiles there. Okay, so I'm going to take my ruler once more, stab myself in the belly with it. Again, score. Not too much, you don't want to chop through. And then fold. Now give it a damn good fold because you want it to you don't want it to spring up like that when you glue it down. When you glue it to the roof, to the house, you don't want it to ping up like that. So we want to really fold it down. Like that. Yeah? Proper fold. So it's thin. Can you see that? Oh, hey? Right through the hole. And now Get the old glue once again. Oh, I'm fed up with using that pencil. But oh no, I want to use a biro this time. How about that? That's a bit better, isn't it? Yeah. I would say a little sort of word of advice. It's not stuff you don't know, any of you, but don't try and be overly neat and tidy. The world isn't a neat and tidy place. And if you try to be over neat and tidy, you tend to tighten up and it has an adverse effect. And you end up being quite messy. Interesting, but true. Okay, now I'm just gonna pop my roof on. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, it's a bit lopsided, let's move them along. Oh, well, I mean, really? Hey, <laughs> he's just popped up beautifully. I would obviously hold him down for a bit, yeah, until he takes properly. But that's a lovely little Johnny. Now even that, it, you can look at that. The roof does look a bit thin, doesn't it? 
a bit thin and flimsy, but it still works okay, doesn't it? That's not a bad little jobby. You know, and that is the basic house structure. The square block house with its roof on. You then get the chimney pop on, you then get your porch bits on. That's, I'll show you on another vid. Um, I just want to show you, this is what I built earlier from another little, some, from a new one. It's a lovely little thing. Now look at the roof on that. You see with it's ridged, it's all ridged, it's much thicker, it's much more robust, much nicer. But that, if you click onto the, what's it called below, we'll show you how to do all that stuff. And until next time, it simply reminds, remains for me to say, uh, chin chin, hasta luego, girls. That's Spanish for, see you later.